hello friends this is the brand new video series on pandas pandas is nothing but the one of the python uh, module for specially used for the uh, data science data analysis kind of purpose so in this video lecture series we are going to see about uh, this pandas module so let's begin with the very first tutorial and let's see how uh, this pandas will be helpful for the different data analysis purpose so in this uh, first lesson we are going to see about how we'll install uh, this pandas library in your pc or uh, ubuntu machine uh, what are the normal naming convention or importing convention for this pandas uh, you can how you can create the pandas very basic data structure of uh, data frame and how you can visualize this data so as far as installation uh, is concerned uh, either on a um, windows or a linux you can use the pip installer and you can simply type this uh, a command so this is the one way we can do it let's try to do it on my machine sudo pip install pandas so they are saying it is already been installed so this way you can install it either on your uh, PC or uh, Windows uh, or Linux machine uh, this is one way there is another way is uh, anaconda uh, distribution so either you can go with anaconda so anaconda is a python package distribution uh, software which provides almost more than uh, 200 around uh, uh, different scientific uh, manipulation related uh, package inside this anaconda so by default this pandas will be included as a part of distribution of anaconda so this is all uh, about installation process either you can go with this pick pip way and there are a lot of other ways also let's not bog down deep into very much detail of it now let's see about what are the uh, general naming convention uh, importing convention for this uh, pandas library so for pandas we'll uh, use alias name pd so we will rename pandas as pd okay so we have successfully imported this panda so every function inside this panda library we are going to uh, reference it with the help of name just pd so that is a short uh, name we have renamed from pandas to pd now let's see how we can create this data frame how this uh, pandas library will be uh, helpful for the data analysis so let's imagine our uh, data is in a very tabular uh, format like a uh, uh, sql uh, table like a uh, uh, structure so let's create uh, some hypothetical data or uh, pandas is anyhow going to provide some web data uh, reader from where we can fetch uh, some of the data and let's see what are the different manipulation uh, small or we can visualize this data so for uh, uh, that pandas is already uh, one is the data reader library let's uh, go with the uh, very good uh, finance api of either uh, google or uh, yahoo from google and yahoo we'll fetch uh, some of the data and uh, we'll uh, dis we will display so we need uh, suppose some data from the google's api uh, let's uh, fetch the stock price of google itself from the google uh, finance api uh, between some start date and uh, end date so we need to define some uh, um, date of start and end so let's define start date so uh, it is a date time object so that date time object we need to first import this uh, date time import date time okay we have imported it and let's define our start date and end date date time date dot date time and we will supply first is suppose uh, 2015 is a year and then month and then date same way we can define the end date so date time dot date time Hello, whole year of 2015. Let's uh, define it. 2015, 12, 
31 okay so we have successfully defined the start date and end date now let us uh, uh, what we need to do from Google finance API data reader will fetch stock price of Google from start and end date so for that we need uh, uh, to import some pandas io uh, data import module package so let's import it first here import pandas dot io dot data so we will import it as a like uh, as we are fetching some mm, uh, this data as a web data so we'll import this convention as a web so it is just the warning that they are going to shift this package from next version to some other places inside their code structure so mm, just ignore it for time being now we have uh, this pandas dot uh, input output uh, module inside that they have written this uh, data fetching uh, module so we can reference this uh, our data reader with the help of web function a uh, web reference so web dot data reader so d is capital data reader and we will provide which stock price you want to fetch suppose google so google is a short form of goop and uh, from which finance api you want to face from google itself we will fetch the google stock price with the help of google finance api so between start and end date and we will store it into some reference variable like a df because uh, it is nothing but the data frame uh, data structure of this pipe pandas library so let's run it and see okay so uh, we have got all those uh, data inside this df variable now let's uh, display what is this df so uh, it might have a lot of amount of data so just to display a very few records from the earlier five records or uh, very last five records we can use this had function so it will just display first five records uh, from this uh, full data frame okay so it has uh, displayed for us like uh, in 2015 this is the second Janu january 5th january so date is nothing but our index actually for each date this is the open price of in a morning time very open price of google stock price this is the very high price so what is the maximum value it has gone for that day same way uh, what is the minimum value uh, of that stock price of google gone for the that day and uh, what is the closest price so which day the the ending price of that and how much volumes of share has been transacted in that day so this is all about the first uh, uh, second january then the second record contains the fifth january record then the sixth january 7th and 8th january so 3 and 4th january is not there because it might have been holiday and weekends time so weekend time stock price is always uh, close that close so um, uh, we haven't got the data for 3rd and 4th january so this way we have got all datas of google uh, stock price based on a google finance api between some date range so uh, we have got all data in our python uh, pandas uh, data structure of data frame now very few first five records we have to visualize suppose we want to visualize first 20 records instead of five just supply the argument and it has displayed the 20 record for us total so this is uh, about uh, how you can uh, generate first few records with the help of head function now let's see how uh, we can do 
suppose we want to see the last 10 records then same way we can instead of head we can use the tail function which is last which will display the last 10 so whatever the date we have given 31st December from the 31st December last 10 record it has displayed so in this way uh, uh, we can visualize uh, what are the data available first few records or last few records suppose we want to visualize the each and every record don't uh, apply any function just df and df has displays almost every records which is available so what it is saying that this is having a five columns five columns is nothing but either open price of the stock Oh, high price of the stock for that day, lowest price of the stock for that day, and uh, what is the closest price of the stock for that day, and uh, the volume, the amount of uh, stock has been transacted uh, on particular day. So this way, the five column has been organized. For there are 252 records. So you can imagine that out of this 365 uh, days, market has been open. Uh, the for the 252 uh, days so this way we can see all the datas uh, inside this data frame uh, data structure data frame variable now uh, this is all about how we have seen the date, uh, data what is the actual data inside that in a numerical format uh, so can we visualize this visualize the da data so for visualization purpose uh, i have already created one brand new video series on a matplotlib so we are going to use this uh, matplotlib uh, uh, library so let's just import and uh, let's visualize this individual uh, columns as a line chart or a kind of bar chart way okay first let's import this uh, matplotlib dot pi plot plt so it has imported this pi plot from matplotlib library and rename it to the plt and uh, we'll import some style also so uh, just for a good looking purpose Clip. import style now there are a lot of styles are uh, available uh, so uh, let's just print the style and uh, select just uh, any one of them uh, style dot available okay so it has shown us a lot of different style uh, let's just uh, take any one of them like uh, C bond notebook and let's just apply it style so while visualizing of this different graph it will use this kind of theme that's nothing uh, more than that inside that okay so we have pasted in now uh, we have done all necessary uh, import statement for the visualization of our data now all our data is available inside this uh, df variable df reference so df is nothing but the data frame uh, frame uh, data frame data structure so suppose we want to visualize the very open uh, price of individual at individual uh, day of the date range what we have given uh, in s as a line chart format so what we can do we can just do open and we can apply the plot so plot has been given uh, as a part of uh, this matplotlib library but uh, that same function function you can apply uh, on the top of individual column and just plot dot so for the actual visualization purpose okay so it has shown us uh, displayed what is the open price for individual day of uh, during this whole year of 2050 so this is just the single uh, record we have uh, dis displayed now suppose uh, we want to display the close price the same way we can do this is the all closing price of individual days okay now suppose we want to change this uh, theme to some other name it 
has okay it has a uh, little bit different it, it has on so this looks little nice so we have displayed this closing of price of individual day so if you observe this uh, full df variable data so whatever this closing price of individual day 524 point 81 dollar 513 point 87 dollar so it has displayed it so this way you can see that across the whole year how much uh, stock price has gone up and down across the full year so uh, this is all about the uh, individual column you can display but suppose you want to uh, display the all five at the same time then don't no need to ap apply individual column you just apply uh, the plot function as a reference to the df variable so you can see that uh, it is difficult to visualize but it has almost plot uh, each and every uh, uh, graph there must be some styling um, issue might be okay so this way we can uh, visualize individual uh, data of data frame uh, uh, data structure uh, which is in a tabular uh, format so uh, that's it uh, for this lecture friends uh, in the next tutorial we'll see how different manipulation in or you can do on the top of uh, this data frame and what are the other kind of data structures are available inside this python uh, pandas library uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video uh, please do comment like and subscribe